Greetings, in the name of our Lord God and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, the Holy One of Israel. Today is February 22nd, 2016. Here in this video, I'll be sharing a dream and vision Lord gave me last month, which may be associated with the prophetic dream he gave me back in March of 2014, which appears to be unfolding now, or to the least setting up. I'll also be reading what I believe to be the corresponding Bible prophecies our Lord requires I read out loud for us today. Like many of my videos, this message is a tad convoluted and very meaty, so please give me a good ear and may our good Lord open it for the blessing spoken of in Revelation 1-3. My dream of January 11, 2016, depicted in drawing number 1, began with my noticing of a group of scruffy zombie-looking men moving into my elderly next-door neighbor's house while he was still living there. A little while later, I was horrified to discover the same undesirables have taken over my living room. I instantly rebuked them in the name of Jesus, and they vanished. Upon waking, I was reminded of the 1997 hit movie, Men in Black. Extracted from Wikipedia, link below, allow me to share a little bit about this seemingly prophetic harbinger out of Hollywood, quoting Wikipedia for educational purposes only. Quote, Men in Black is a 1997 American science fiction action comedy film directed by Barry Sonnenfeld and produced by Walter F. Parks and Laurie McDonald. Loosely adapted from the Men in Black comic book series created by artist Lowell Cunningham. The film stars Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith as two agents of a secret organization called the Men in Black who supervise extraterrestrial life forms who live on Earth and hide their existence from ordinary humans. End of quote. Wikipedia goes on to say, quote, Agent K and his partner Agent D intercept a truck smuggling illegal immigrants into the United States. Inside, they discover an alien disguised as a human. When he runs, they shoot him and use neuralizers to wipe the memories of the Border Patrol witnesses. D decides to retire and ask K to wipe his memory, too. NYPD officer James Darrell Edwards III pursues a supernaturally fast and agile suspect. Before the suspect jumps to his death, Edwards sees his irises blink horizontally. In upstate New York, an alien crash lands and kills a farmer named Edgar to use his skin as a disguise, end of quote. Catch that? An alien crash lands and kills a farmer named Edgar to use his skin as a disguise. Scripture speaks much about such things, actually. Here are some examples. First Kings 18.28, we see that Ahab's false prophets, quote, cut themselves as was their custom, with knives and lances until the blood gushed out of them, unquote. Such a practice is a demonic hallmark, as the man spoken of in Mark's Gospel, chapter 5, who had at least a thousand or two demons living in him, would often cut himself with stones. See Mark 5, verses 1 through 20. According to Daniel 2, verses 33 and 43, the New World Order, forming now, as you know, is comprised of iron and clay, which mirrors Isaiah 14, 9, whereas world leaders are demonically possessed or influenced. From what I understand, iron denotes a heavenly origin, for example, Mars, and speaks of Satan and his minions being cast out of heaven, and clay denotes an earthly origin, as man was formed from dust of the earth. Isaiah 18.6 alludes to tribulations first and second half courts will be food for summer and winter birds of prey. In other words, demons will assume their dead bodies, just as Satan will assume Obama's corpse once he sustains a fatal head wound. See Daniel 11.21-23, Revelation 13.3, and my October 15th video, I think number 84. Okay. As you all know, many commercials and or movies point to Bible prophecies. For example, the 1977 Up commercial, linked below, reflects Nibiru coming, Jeremiah 4-7's Destroyer of Nations, 
This is Satan's grave he'll soon be cast out of, per Isaiah 14:19. That delightful commercial also depicts saints being raptured, one by one, to rest under the altar until all come in, just as Isaiah 27, verses 12 and 13 state. Please see my rapture video number 15, linked below, and be sure to read its description box for amazing biblical insights of that popular 7-Up commercial. Another prophetic harbinger can be seen in the 2013 movie, The Grand Budapest Hotel, as it reflects the abomination of desolation. Okay, back to the dream the Lord gave me. I believe the dream was to point us to Habakkuk 1.6, which I'll read out loud for us now. Yet, of course, I'll include the entire passage, Habakkuk 1, 1 through 11, New King James Version. The burn which the prophet Habakkuk saw. O Lord, how long shall I cry, and you will not hear? Even cry out to you violence, and you will not save. Why do you show me inequity and cause me to see trouble? For plundering and violence are before me. There is strife and contentions arises. Therefore the law is powerless, and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous. Therefore perverse judgment proceeds. Proceeds. Amen. And now for our Lord's reply, starting with verse 5. Look among the nations and watch. Be utterly astounded. For I will work a work in your days which would, you would not believe, though it were told you. For indeed I am raising up the Chaldeans, a bitter and hasty nation which marches through the breadth of the earth to possess dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity proceed from themselves. Their horses also are swifter than leopards and more fierce than evening wolves. Their charges charge ahead. Their cavalry comes from afar. They fly as the eagle that hastens to eat. They all come for violence. Their faces are set like the east wind. They gather captives like sand. They scoff at kings, and princes are scorned by them. They deride every stronghold, for they heap up earth and mounds and seize it. Then his mind changes, and he transgresses. He commits offense, ascribing this power to his God. Amen. This passage, of course, speaks of Satan and his 200 million minions coming via Nebru, also known as Planet X, or the Red Kachina. Also one in the same army as spoken of in Isaiah 5, verses 26 through 30, 13, 5, Ezekiel 9, Joel 2, verses 1 through 11, and Revelation chapter 9, to name a few. The passage also speaks of the angels and demons that are bound soon to be released. Now for the vision Lord gave me right after that Chaldean dream of January 11, 2016. From what I can remember, clips of a single black raven were shown to me, elegantly poised as though modeling mid-eastern mosaic-like pattern neck feathers. See drawing number two. Upon Isaiah 46 reflects this vision of the eastern mosaic-like pattern neck feathered ravens, which I'll read for us now from the New King James Version. Bell bows down, Nebo stoops. Their idol, idols were of the beasts and on their cattle. Your carriages were heavily loaded, a burden to the weary beast. They stooped, they bowed down together. They could not deliver the burden, but have themselves gone into captivity. Listen to me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been upheld by me from birth, who have been carried from the womb. Even to your old age I am he, and even to your gray hairs I will carry you. I have made and I will bear. Even I will carry and will deliver you. To whom will you liken me and make me equal and compare me that we should be alike? They lavish gold out of the bag and weigh silver on the scales. They hire a goldsmith and he makes it a god. They prostrate themselves. Yes, they worship. They bear it on the shoulder. They carry it and set it in its place, and it stands. From its place it shall not move. Though one cries out to it, yet it cannot answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this, and show yourselves men. Recall to mine, O you transgressors, 
Remember the former things of old, for I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a bird of prey from the east, the man who executes my counsel from a far country. Indeed, I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed it. I will also do it. Listen to me, you stubborn-hearted, who are far from righteousness. I bring my righteousness near. It shall not be far off. My salvation shall not linger, and I will place salvation in Zion for Israel my glory. Amen. Okay, now for the dream Lord gave me back in March 2014, as depicted in drawing number three. As I initially shared in, I believe, video number 22, link below, I dreamt I saw a Buddha statue hovering over a sea. Then I saw a U.S. Navy destroyer. Soon the entire scene was blanketed, blanketed in a yellow haze as the waves engulfed the ship and Buddha perhaps indicative of an EMP or a nuclear and or chemical explosion. As most of you know, an uptick of warships, including our navies, are currently jockeying for position in various eastern waters, such as the Mediterranean, Red Sea, Sea of Japan, and South China Sea. And most recently, China sent missiles to the South China Sea to protect what they call their territory. See link below which likely explains the Buddha and U.S. destroyer dream Lord gave me. I believe pointing to what I'll close with, Matthew 24, verses 4 through 14. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Amen. Oh, thank you, dear Lord. And thank you for listening. May our Lord continue to bless and perfect all that which concerns you. For his name's sake and glory.